Hey guys, Keith here, and I am just fired up, excited for today's training. So what I want to talk about today is, first of all, we're going to talk about recreating your list. And the second thing we're going to talk about is influencers within that list. And before we get into that, I just want to start with fast is fun in this business. So the most fun you're going to have in this business, the most exciting time is going to be when you're building fast, when you're going, when you're talking to a lot of people. Because you can just get in a groove. You can get the, uh, you know, Darren Hardy calls it the get your mo, big mo. So you get that mojo and yeah, just, you know, getting going fast, getting moving, talking to a lot of people. This business gets really fun. Slow, not so much fun. You just can't get in that rhythm. So keep that in mind as you're going about. Get up there, start talking to more people, start sharing more and really get this thing moving. All right, so... Let's talk about, I want to tell you two quick stories. The first story is when I decided to take this business serious. So it took me about six months before I really took this business serious. But the first thing I did, I was in a position just like you and I recreated my list. And what I did is I thought of anybody and everybody I knew. And I went through the, um, the memory jogger and I went through every single thing in there and I just thought about everyone and anyone I know and I wrote everything down, right? And then after I did that, I had this whole group of people, some of them I wouldn't talk to, some of them I would. Um, but here's what I did, and this is super important. So first of all, I want you to do that memory jogger again. I want you to get a couple hundred people on your list. And then I, what I want you to do is start thinking about the influencers in your list. So what do I mean by that? We all have these different circles that we go with in our lives, right? For me, when I first started, I had a circle of friends that I worked with. I had a circle that was my wife's family. I had a circle that was my, um, my father's family. I had a circle that was my mother's family, right? And then I had a circle of college friends. And then I also had a circle of people that I worked with in the yoga community. So these were kind of different circles that I, that I sort of existed within, right? And inside of those circles, there was smaller little circles. Like in the yoga community, there was a bunch of different yoga studios, right? So there's sort of a little circle with each studio. Here's what I want you to know. And one of the things that I did in the beginning was I said, who's the person of influence within those communities? So within each of those yoga studios, like who's the person that people look up to, the pe person that people trust, the person that if I got them to sign up as a beach body coach, the rest of the people would do that, right? So think about your circles in life. Think about everything you have going on and think about who is the influencer in that circle. That's the person you wanna start talking to because what's gonna come from that is all the other people, right? You understand where I'm going with this? You get it? All right, so think about, go through, do your list, think about your circles, start talking with the influencers in those circles and don't worry if it doesn't happen overnight. Everybody's not gonna sign up right away, but you wanna get this thing going. You wanna be talking to lots of people. Here's how I did it in the beginning. I talked to anyone and everyone and I told them what I was doing I told them that I was going to run with this business. I had 100% confidence in myself and I asked them to check out a video, check out a DVD, check out a recording, whatever it was, whatever your third party go-to tool is. All right, so keeping the one piece in mind when we started this, um, started this training, we're focusing on business partners now as well. We're not focusing on just discount um, coaches. We're not focusing on customers, right? In order to grow your business, you have to be bringing in business partners. So I want you to keep that in mind. All right, guys. So put your list together. C circle those influencers. Start talking to those influencers. Keith, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to do it. All you need to say and all you need to do right now is tell them how passionate you are about this and ask them if they'd be willing to look at a third party tool. That's all you need to do right now. And then follow up, follow up, do it over and over and over and over, right? That's all you need to do. It's, it's not any more difficult than that. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. Go out there, crush it today, and we'll see you tomorrow.